Y'all came to see the silk press, so here we go. My hair had been in a twist out and a puff for weeks, so I was like, okay, it's time to shampoo. It's time to get myself nice and silky. We got some real curly, curly textured hair now. This is my shit. I mean, the last one was great too, but like this, this is the thing that really gets me. All right, it all gets me. Never mind. I mean, it all gets me kind of going. But like, <laughs> I just love a hair transformation. The more extreme, the better. Am I the only one? Let me know. I don't know. All right, she is prepping the hair, putting in the work. We're doing the cleansing. We're doing the deep conditioning masks to get it nice and prepped to do a really good silk press. I love learning from you guys, even the little things. I love learning what curly hair people like to use on their hair and how they like to use them. I let this sit for about 20 to 25 minutes with a heated cap or if you don't have that you can also use a uh, blow dryer i love that she's letting the hair mask sit with a bag on it it really helps expand that cuticle heat makes that hair swell and that moisture can get inside of that hair strand even better when you have heat with your hair mask it's it's a great idea do y'all see how popping my curls are after this deep conditioner honey just just look at the shine and yes i did comb it through as well i like to section my hair into fours when i'm blow drying my hair i highly recommend this to you as well this is something i always forget i can do with curly hair when i'm when i'm doing my own silk presses on people is braid the hair like I just forget that you can braid it and like not even put a clip in and it'll just stay I always think I need to like do a like a, a clip but you don't you can just braid everything into small sections and it'll just stay perfectly like that it just serves its purpose for me not to just do it completely wet on my own hair now it still is a little damp but you know I just like to stretch it out a little bit. Okay, so this is an interesting technique that I don't see a lot in the videos that I react to lately, is just stretching the hair out and not focusing on making it super straight. She's just really getting rid of like 80% of that curl, but not trying to blow it out necessarily, if that makes sense, you know? She's not trying to get a perfectly sleek blowout so that it's more manageable to then run through with the flat iron, which I think is a cool, interesting technique. Again, like I said earlier though, I feel like the more heat that's applied to a silk press, the longer it lasts. I don't know if that's true. Again, I don't have curly hair, but just speculation and things I've heard from people over the years, that seems to be true. She is going in there, putting in the work though. I mean, it's getting pretty straight. Her hair looks like it's very easily blow dryable, straightenable. It is getting pretty dark straight just with that blow dry technique that is kind of just kind of just going for it she's just taking these big big sections and boom bam bang just going for it all at once and the hair is looking shiny i mean it is color treated but it is still shiny as hell let me get my beyonce on real quick because i feel the bad bitch starting to load up yes now i'm going in with my nano titanium flat iron she's got a titanium flat iron we're about to see a good Hook press. Titanium and really curly hair. Oh, they are best friends. You can section it off um, if you would like to, but I just went in and did parts. I mean, it, it took me a little longer because of this reason too. So don't be like me. Oh my God. I tell you all the time, the way that black women do their hair, ugh, there's just nothing like it. You see a white girl trying to straighten their hair, it is a disaster. You see a black girl doing it, those sections are sharp and they are small and they're perfection. Even on the back of their damn head, they don't even have to see back there to know that their section is perfect. I mean, it is impressive. Look at this, look how straight her hair is how look at the way she does those edges too i mean what she was basically just flat ironing her stem skin like what <laughs> What? She is taking her time. She is going all around the head, little tiny sections, doing basically, I think, one pass per section because that's all she really needs when you're doing tiny, tiny sections like that. This is just magical to watch and her hair is so shiny and healthy and hydrated. Wow. The way that it just moves when her head moves and she's got that, oh, it's just perfect. Her hair looks better than somebody with like naturally straight hair. Like this, the way she straightened it looks better than my hair would ever look naturally straight. It looks so fluffy and like, not fluffy, but just, just silk. And this is the definition of a silk press when it just looks like silk. Am I getting my point across? Good. I'm using my one and a half inch Bebelis flat irons. They are ceramic. They are on, I think like 350 maybe. Yes. 